hello and welcome to this video. There's these pair of pants that I've been holding on to, a to for a while. They're quite large for me. They say they're a size 20. And, um, but they have, uh, I like the fabric and it's a lot of fabric to be able to use something out of. I mean, to make something out of. So I've decided I'm going to open up the legs and try to make it into a skirt because I've been enjoying wearing these longer kind of more flowy skirts um it has the uh cute det details that i like in the front and back that i'm going to try to preserve and so i'm going to try to split it down the side on the top and there's a lot of uh, fabric in the back that i'll have to figure out what to do with but um a lot of the work, finish work especially, is done already. So I'm kind of actually pretty excited to do this so I can wear it. So um, I hope you keep watching. So um, what I did first was I pinned the front to my shirt and the back to my shirt so that it would hang off of my body at the height that I wanted so that I could have free hands to pin the sides so that it would be the right size. Um, I was pretty, it worked, the idea worked pretty well. I was pretty happy with that. So then I also pinned some of the extra fabric. So I had an idea of where to ch start sewing. Um, to take away some of the width. And then um, in the back, I mentioned before, like the fabric is cut so that it will go in between your legs. Well, I needed to get rid of that. So I laid it out on the floor like this and then pinned along what looked like should be removed. And then I sewed it and then I think I had to re-sew it maybe once but um, for the most part, it wasn't too bad getting that fabric out of the way. The thing is, once I, okay, so I sewed the front and then the sides and the back too, and it turned into like a stovepipe basically. <laughs> and I really just didn't like it. Um, so I tore the seams out and then, um, I took the extra fabric from the length because it was also way too long and I used that fabric to make kind of um, triangular shaped uh, gores maybe I'm not sure what you would call it but that would fill that gap to try to make the shape of the skirt flare more and this is what that looked like uh, I ended up having so much fabric in those um, gores or whatever they're called, that it, it just looks—it almost looks like an air or a, um, a rocket fins. <laughs> and I can't believe how silly that is. So anyway, I decided to get rid of or take out half of that. And um, to do that, I pinned it against this cabinet door so that the fabric would. Um, fall cleanly and then I could pin a straight line so that when I pinned it the line wasn't wavy. Um, that worked pretty well. I, I was happy with that. And even then it still was kind of uh, kind of looked like fins for a rocket but not nearly so bad. And I actually, now that I'm finished, look back and see that version. I actually kind of like that version. So my original plan was always to use this wool fabric from a skirt that didn't fit me to put a thick hem at the bottom. But as you can see, it makes the skirt flow out too much. It, I don't know, it just didn't work good with making the shape better. I, I used like, it's very heavy and thick. So I decided to try to make these, what I called gores before, these triangles that I added in, into a, a pleated section. 
and um, I tried that with one of them and then it seemed to work pretty well so I tried that with all of them and um, there you can see I, I did sew the hem uh, so that it would be like a permanent pleat that, at that part because I wasn't sure how well I'd be able to iron it in a way where it would hold it. I, I think that pleat ended up looking good. I did that with all of them and you can see that here. I think it has promise. It's not great but considering it I just kind of blindly stumbled my way through it. It looks pretty good. And it looks better, way better than it did. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed and please consider checking out some of my other videos. Bye!